all right i am back here out at the range again with the savage b22 now on my last video i did an ammo test with i think it was like five or six different ammo types and uh i mentioned in that last video well a bunch of you guys started telling me to get the sk match ammo and uh i told you guys i wasn't able to get anything there's like nothing on the shelves just wasn't available but good news we finally got our hands on some right there paid a little bit of extra for it but uh, we're gonna test this out today and see how it holds up i also got the other ammo that shot the best from the last video test that i did uh, which is this federal auto match 1200 fps just so we can compare it again and then uh buddy gave me this federal uh what is this federal target federal target match and this one is 1080 fps there's only like 10 rounds or 12 rounds inside the box here i just got this off of buddy but we're going to test this out as well and see how it does now the sk ammo here i got pretty high hopes for because all you guys started telling me that this one was the way to go. I can't find the FPS on the box, but I think when I looked online, it was like 1080 or 1070 FPS or something like that. I got to double check. I'll probably just write it uh, in the description here or some later on the video. But uh, yeah, I got really high hopes for this one. Um, I've got uh, target. I've got some paper target out at 50 yards and I've also got paper target and some steel targets out at 100 yards. And uh, we're going to test it out to see how these ammo will shoot out at 100 yards, which is a bit of a further range for a 22 LR over here. So these Federal Auto Match, they're 1200 FPS, which is a high velocity. So they're supersonic and, um, they, and they shoot great out to like 50 yards based on the tests that we did on it last time here. But because it's high velocity, 1200 FPS, when you shoot it out to 100 yards, it goes through what they call, uh, I guess it goes transonic is what it's called. Um, as it goes from supersonic uh, down to subsonic there because as, uh, as you shoot further out. So when you shoot at 100 yards, and I've done it before with this, the groups get really inconsistent. Shooting the subsonic or the standard velocity ones here, it shouldn't have that issue of going through that transonic state, which means it should be more consistent um, when you push out past 50 yards and into that 100 yard uh, type ranges here. So we'll test it out with this one, the SK ammo and also this uh, 10 rounds to this federal uh, target here as well. I've got the Tacticam set up on my rifle here so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing through my scope when we do these shots. Having said that, let's uh, get started and let's start shooting here. So I've got 10 rounds of the federal auto match which is the one that we used the last time here and uh, we're just gonna shoot a 50 yard target here get a group going for this one all right up next we've got the federal target match here which is uh, again it is uh, 1080 FPS now because I only got like 12 rounds of this I've only loaded five rounds in the magazine so we're gonna do a five round group of this one so we can save the other uh, seven rounds for the hundred yard target for that one all right we've got five rounds of the SK loaded up here Man, I'm excited to see how this one does, guys. You guys uh, hyped it up pretty good here for me, so I hope it sticks. I'm going to load up five more rounds and adjust the turret a little bit here so we, so we can actually get closer to the... Uh, Wow, okay. Holy shit. That shot good. That was all touching. I guess all the hype on this thing was real. That's a good group. All right, we'll grab the target down there 
and then we'll measure it with the calipers uh, for the groupings there that I shot at 50 yards. And then uh, after that, we'll try these three ammo out at 100 yards, see how that does. And then after we're, I've got some steel set up over there too, and we'll see if we can shoot some steel. But so far, so good with this SK ammo. Wow, that hole is all touching. I like that. Let's go and get the target and take a look. All right, guys, so that is the group there with the Federal yeah, Auto Match, not, not really, no, 1200 not FPS. So we've got just a little over one and a half. And then right here, we've got the Federal Target Match, and that came in at uh, just a little over 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.738. Okay, and this is the first group we shot with the SK. We're getting 0 0.843 inches, but I'm pretty sure I, I was the one that screwed up that uh, that shot right there. I wasn't holding the rear bag stable enough. So if we just measure the uh, four holes this way, then that would be... zero point three two inches the sk up here as well so if we measure this one then we do get zero point three two inches there as well so yeah guys i guess all the hype that you guys have been building up on this sk stuff is uh actually real so that's good I've got a brick of this stuff now, so and it seems to be shooting pretty good. We'll uh, push it out to 100 yards here and then see how these guys shoot. I'll shoot all three here at 100 yards as well and then see how these guys group at 100 and uh, compare them there too. And then uh, we'll get to shooting some steel too. All right, we'll start off with five rounds. Federal auto match at 100 yards here. That actually didn't perform as bad as I thought it was going to be. That actually shot better than it did at the 50 yard. Now we got five rounds here. Federal target. Try this at 100. Whoa. That shot worse than the Federal auto match at 100. Interesting. And again, best for last, we'll try the uh, SK ammo here at 100, five shot group. See how this goes. Throw another five rounds out there. This was the first group here at 100 yards. This was the Federal Auto Match. This one shot really good for some reason, surprisingly. 1.166 inches at 100 yards. So not horrible. And then this one was the uh, Federal Target Match. 1.676 inches. At 100 yards and then I believe we shot this one here was the SK the first group that we shot and that came out to 1.378 inches at 100 yards and I was like that's weird it should shoot better than that I was thinking so we reshot that here SK here as well and this one came out to be 1.343 inches at 100 yards put up another target at 100 yards there redo a couple more groups at 100 yards with the SK and then uh, start shooting some steel here finally more groups here at 100. There's a big right now just because I haven't taken off yet. Yeah. Okay, one more group down here. 
Well, that one was going good until that last shot. With the consistency, yeah. well, sometimes before, you got a bit of, them. you got a few flyers, that's, but that's that's consistency-wise, <laughs> not that's the, the greatest, but better than the other ones that I've uh, that I've shot here. I mean, the groups aren't horrible from 100 yards on a 22 well, LR, well, to be honest. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get right now. But uh, yeah, let's uh, shoot some steel. Yes. Nice. Looks like I might have a problem with my two C one. Uh unless that's the unless that's an upgraded gas block from True North Arms. I don't know. Who'd you buy from? There's the top one on the uh, black spinner. Yeah, I just nailed the small one on the red one there. That's weird, didn't spin too much. There you go. Yeah, every now and then it'll have it'll have a couple of flyers, but I don't know. I'd say it's probably got 80, 90 percent consistency rate on this SK stuff. All right. Well, I thought I'd finish this video off at home. It was getting a little too loud over there at the range, as you guys could see. It started filling up, and by by the time we left, uh, the whole range was full. So. Couldn't, uh, couldn't really get a word in without a gunshot going off. But uh, here's the final groupings on that last piece of paper that I did. All on the SK match ammo. And uh, I'm trying to remember the order that I shot these groups in. But bear with me. But you guys would have seen it in the video anyways before this. Uh, off of the uh, scope camera there. But uh, check this out. This one was the first one that we did. And uh, I don't know why. But this one kind of started off low. And then it started creeping up there cold bore maybe i don't know it was like minus three minus five degrees celsius out today so that was the first one there not great but uh second group that we shot was this one here this one was not bad let me break out the calipers here so keep in mind this is at 100 yards with a 22. this one here is not great either two point it's 2.264 inches for this group and then uh, we shot this group over here this one it's got a little bit better a lot better actually I think um, this group here is one point I'm trying to measure center to center there 
four eight eight inches and then we shot this group here um we had one flyer right there but the other four shots were pretty good so if we were to measure the whole thing including the flyer that would give us one point sorry two point three one five so not great but if we were to remove that flyer from the equation and just measure these four that would give us 1.265 inches and then this group over here one two three four five again it's like 2.081 same thing with this group over here this one here was the best one one two three four five right there this one is from a ricochet from uh, the steel target so it's these this group of five here let's measure this one this one looks like it seems to be the best one so this is the two furthest points center and center this one is 1.084 and from this point to this point it's less than an inch this one so that's good and from this point to this point it is a little less than an inch 0 0.978 so this is a really good group this is a, the sort of group that I was expecting um, I don't know why like these ones seem to have a flyer this one seemed to have a flyer it just seems a little inconsistent I don't know for me I guess um, yeah I'm not sure what uh, I guess I was uh, expecting a little too much. I was <laughs> expecting it to shoot, you know, uh, touching holes at 100 yards. But I mean, to be fair, it did shoot 0.3 inches at 50 yards. So that was really good. That was like all touching holes pretty much um, at 50 yards. But at 100 yards, it starts to open up a little bit. We forgot this other group right here. This one would be... This one here is 1.2 inches from that point to that point. And same from here, 1.2 inches. So this one is also just a little over half MOA. So that's good. This is good. This is good if it wasn't for that. This is good if it decent if it wasn't for that. This one is all over the place a little bit. This one something wrong was wrong with this one um, this one would be good if it wasn't for that and this one would be good if it wasn't for that so again overall the sk match did shoot pretty good um i wouldn't call it like i don't know if i was shooting bench rest or something like that shooting for like really tight groups i probably wouldn't use that i'd try to look for something better but for Plinking at 100 yards or even PRS at 100 yards, I think it could be good enough. Um, I did end up zeroing it for this ammo now, and I've got about 500 rounds of this SK match on me now. So uh, yeah, probably going to be using this ammo through the Savage B22 Precision moving forward. At least until I can find some other types of ammo to uh, test through this gun and uh, see if I can find something that shoots better. The uh, SK long range match ammo is supposed to be designed for 100 yards plus. So I can see if I can get my hands on some of that stuff and if I can then I'll do another test video on that comparing it to the regular SK match ammo that we just did today. But uh, anyways guys that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys found it informative or helpful or just entertaining. If you did hit that like button and uh, show some support. Check out my other videos on the channel as well. And if you enjoy this type of content, I do hunting, fishing, shooting, trapping, everything that I enjoy to do outdoors. If you guys like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button also and the notification bell so you can stay tuned when I upload future videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.